Hey YouTube, um, a setup video for Kaj was requested, so I finally got around to doing that. I've been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, because I've been too busy with school and work, but I finally got around to it. <clears throat> Anyways, this is Kaj. Hi, big guy. I got him from Dean uh, Richard on King Snake Classified. He posts a bunch of bearded dragons. And um, from what I've seen, they've all been really mellow, really nice. Um, I get the feeling he really like handles his dragons and like pays attention to them. They're more of a pet than like a source of income to him. <clears throat> Not to mention, I got him for pretty cheap. I got him for 110 bucks shipped, so I'm pretty happy. His colors are a little dull right now because he's a little stressed because I just cleaned his cage. Um, I wanted to make sure it was clean before I did a setup video. That and he's been a little sick. He had the, um, an upper respiratory infection like about a week ago and I took him to the vet and he's on, on antibiotics and he's been improving like really rapidly. He's back to his squirmy, wormy, chunky self. Anyways, in the corner I've got a basking platform. I think it's supposed to be for turtles. Um, but I saw it and I thought, well, I thought Kaj would really enjoy it, and he does enjoy it a lot. Um, I've also got some fake Mopani wood with some real Mopani wood on top of it. Um, I set up a, a bunch of different levels for basking because um, I found this tank was very deep, and so it was hard for all the heat to get through really easily. Um, on the top I have two domes. Um, this one puts out or this one is a 150 watt I don't remember the brand 150 watt um, day bulb though and that's on a automatic timer so it turns off after about 12 or 14 hours and in the back I've got a um, one of the kind of black light bulbs the purple nighttime ones and I think that's a 75 watt and that's just to keep it extra toasty on the side because with just this on he'd be climbing to the very top and like pressing himself up trying to get all the heat um, this cage is just really really deep um, the cage is a tetrafauna 40 it's um, 36 long, uh, 36 inches long by 18 tall by 16 um, uh, 16 inches wide I, I want to say the 16 or the 18 um, I'm not sure which one is which um, for the substrate I've always been a fan of reptile carpet even though it gets soiled pretty easily and you have to change it uh, pretty often but I don't have to worry about impaction and um, it just generally like stays pretty clean as you can see Kaja's feet are a little blue from, uh, what brand was it? It's a Zoomed Vita Sand. It's supposed to be calcium carbonate. What are you looking at, big guy? Hmm? It's supposed to be a calcium carbonate, so it's easier to digest, but I got the blue one because I thought it looked cool and it ended up dyeing his feet and a bit of his tail. So I'm waiting for him to shed and I've been giving him baths a little even more regularly trying to get it off of him. So I would never ever recommend Reptisand or Vitasand or whatever it is. In the corner I've got a bunch of fake plants. A lot of these were just like really cheap or freebies because Petco like gives you those reward dollars. and. I spent a bunch like getting his setup and getting like his uh like branches and stuff. And while I will say Petco's really great for um decor and stuff, I would never recommend getting a pet there. Um my friends and I have had some pretty horrific experiences with them giving us already sick pets and then um, having to give them back to them, hoping that they will actually give them proper vet care when um, I hear oftentimes that's not the case. Um, and then in his little dish over here, I've got some kale. I have from kale every time, every day, and um, I missed it periodically throughout the day and then usually repla replace it after somewhere between 24 and 48 hours. Um, and that's pretty much it for him. Um, he also eats about three or four, 
maybe five or six, depending on how hungry he is, uh, super worms a day. I'm starting a colony of dubias to, uh, so I can feed him those, because I've read that they're just all around better for them, and they're just easier to breed. You just throw them in, like, a dark place, and they do their business, versus super worms where you have to, like, do specific things. Alright, there's Kaja's setup. Hope you enjoyed.